If the touch screen on your Android phone or tablet is not working, then you're not stuck and you should be able to fix it. This is usually caused by a software problem rather than a hardware problem. And this video will help you to fix it if you can see your screen, but it's just not responding to touch. If your screen is totally black and you can't see anything, then I've got a separate video which is in the top right now, which will help you solve that problem. But this video will deal with what to do if your touch screen is not working properly, so it's intermittently working, maybe it's working in some areas, but maybe it's lagging, or you're having some trouble with button presses with it, recognizing your finger presses. So this can be caused by your phone running out of memory, and it's prioritizing apps so it doesn't have any spare to run the touch screen and to recognize any finger presses. And in that case, it just needs some time to reset, but we can try and hurry that along and get your phone working again. Or it could be a corrupt app that's installed on your phone, or a failure of the SD card inside it. And if you're trying to open an app that's stored on the SD card and the SD card has failed, then that can cause the phone to crash and to not respond to touch. Or there can also be problems where maybe dirt or grime or cleaning fluid has got in the gaps around the edge of the touch screen or in the gap in the um, speaker or microphones. And it's got underneath the touch screen and it started damaging the contacts between the touch screen and the phone. And that can happen on older phones, particularly if you're using an abrasive cleaning fluid to keep this, the phone clean. So possible fixes for this. First of all, you just need to check that there's actually nothing blocking the screen at all. So if you've got a screen protector on it, just take the screen protector off so that your finger is directly touching the screen itself and there's nothing in between. You can also just use a damp cloth just to rub over the screen, just to try and remove any dirt or grime that might be there and that might be causing it to, to short circuit when you're touching it and so it's not properly responding to touch. But again, don't use any cleaning fluids, nothing abrasive, just a, a, a slightly damp cloth and run it over the top. If the touch screen's still not working properly, then just try plugging your phone into a wall charger and just letting it sit for 10 minutes or so. It could be doing something that's uh, memory intensive, like an update. So just let it sit plugged in, wait 10 minutes or so, and see if it's then responding to touch after that. If it's not, then you can try a force restart. So this depends on which model of phone you have. On old Android phones like this one, you hold down the power button and volume down simultaneously and hold them down for about 10 seconds or so and your phone will restart itself. This is the same on Samsung Galaxy phones as well so the power button and volume down you need to hold down and on most Androids it's power and volume down on something like the Pixel phones, then you have to hold down the power button and volume up. So if power and volume down doesn't work for your phone, then just try power and volume up. So I'll just show you what a force restart looks like. So in this case, we're just gonna hold down the power and volume up, and then just hold it down for about 10 seconds, and it won't look like it's doing anything at first, but then after 10 seconds or so, it will restart. So I'll just hold it down. It doesn't appear to be doing anything, it's just frozen on this screen. If we just keep the buttons held down, then it's gone off. If we just keep it held down for a little bit longer, then release the buttons. You see the Google logo comes up and then it will restart itself. So this takes longer than 
If you go into the menu and press the restart button, this will take longer because this is a forced restart. If you've got a phone with a removable battery, then just try taking that out. That will also force restart it, but it's a, a hardware force restart rather than a software force restart. So most phones, like the Pixel phones, you can't remove the battery, so you can just skip that. If your phone doesn't have a removable battery, but if it does, then just try taking the battery out. Leave it out for 30 seconds or so, then put it back in and try it again. If that hasn't helped, then you can try booting your phone into safe mode. And that will disable most of the apps. It will disable all of the third-party apps. It will only run the core Android services. And so that will let you know whether it's one of the third-party apps installed that's causing your phone to hang. So you can go to the power menu here, or you can hold down power and volume up to bring up this menu. Then just hold down either the power off or restart buttons. Keep your finger on it. And you get this message coming up saying, reboot to safe mode. So then just press OK on that. And your phone will restart into safe mode. Now you can try your phone again and see if the touch screen is working now that it's in safe mode. If it is working as normal, then all you have to do is to then just reboot it again. So I'll just press power and volume up to bring up the power menu and then just restart it. And it will then restart back into the normal mode with all of the apps enabled again. And hopefully your phone will be working normally. If you've still got problems with your phone, then you can use the Android recovery menu to try and wipe the cache partition or to try and reboot your phone or factory reset it. So in most phones, all you have to do to access the Android recovery menu is to hold down the power and volume up buttons. On some models, you hold down the power and volume down. And on some of the Galaxy phones, you hold down power and volume up and the home button, which is on the opposite side. But for this phone, I'll hold down the power and volume down, which will get me into the Android recovery menu. So I'll just hold those down for about 10 seconds or so, and the phone will reboot itself into the fast boot mode. Some models will reboot themselves directly into the recovery menu. So this one opens a fast boot mode and I can use the volume up and volume down just to select the mode here. So I need to select recovery mode and then press the power button to select it. If you've got a Galaxy phone, it will just open straight into the Android recovery menu. Then you get this no command error. And to get past this, you just hold down the power button and volume up simultaneously. And then we're into the Android recovery menu. So we can select um, wipe cache partition is a good one to start with. And that will clear out all of the temporary files that are stored on your phone and that will hopefully clear up enough memory that it can that the touch screen will start working again if that doesn't work then you'll have to then come back into this menu and try the wipe data factory reset option that will clear out all of the data from your phone so only do this as a last resort but then your phone will start off on a fresh install and it should work normally again